You already know what it is. It's Ian K for Peep This Out Reviews. This time over at Wendy's to take a look at a burger that I've actually never tried until right now. So I figured for my very first time, we're definitely going big. So stay tuned because the Triple Baconator is up next. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. Let the insanity commence. I think I'm in for it. It's the Triple Baconator here at Wendy's. And guys, this thing looks absolutely insane. To say this actually looks like a super beefy, super meaty burger would be an understatement because in triple fashion, I think this thing is going to completely deliver. It looks awesome. Starting off with this nice soft bun on the very top. Underneath it, it looks like we've got a little bit of mayo, some ketchup, applewood smoked bacon, and American cheese. And this is separated going down the line here, guys. A uh, three quarters pound of beef in effect here. Fresh, never frozen. Take a look at that, more bacon, more cheese. Let's go down one more layer, because why not? More bacon, more cheese. Now this supposedly comes with six strips of bacon here, but with an extra patty, we're getting an extra slice of cheese and three more strips. So it looks like nine strips of bacon, and probably half strips here. But guys, lots of beefy goodness. And on the very bottom, not like it needs anything. It looks like it's just a bun. But man, insanity, definitely. I can't wait to get into this right now. It is super tall. How am I gonna bite into this? We're about to find out. It's the Triple Baconator here at Wendy's. Let's peep out this flavor. Oh my God, guys. Take a look at three quarters of a pound of fresh beef in my hand here right now. This is looking really, really insane. Before I take the first bite on this one, this looks really, really incredible. Why I waited so long to do this right now, I don't know, but I'm glad I'm doing it right now on camera with you guys in triple form. So. Before I take that first bite to hopefully confirm what I think is gonna be amazing, if you guys are fans of high quality, delicious looking food reviews, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to tap the bell icon so you can be notified as soon as brand new content drops every week. One more time, guys, for the people in the back row. Look at this insanity right now. The Triple Baconator looking pretty amazing. Let's do it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Oh my God, mmm, so much beef, it's so good though. Oh, hurt me so bad, but in a good way, mmm. Guys, I'm not really gonna edit this one too much, we're going straight through, look at that. One bite of beefy goodness, lots of bacon, lots of cheese, a little bit of ketchup in there, but man, the beef is insane, oh my God. I can't get over how flavorful this is. I think a double would have been perfectly fine. A triple is a little out there, guys, it really is. But they offer it, as you can see. I'm gonna keep doing this to you throughout this whole review because it is nuts. It is absolutely nuts. Gluttonous, flavorful, just the right amount of saltiness, nice and hot. But man, the bacon, the applewood smoke crispiness on this right now. Let me grab a little bit of it to pull off for you. Take a look at that, guys. Lots and lots of goodies. Very little B-roll with this one, guys. You're getting it firsthand as we go, but nice and crispy, nice and crunchy right now. Mmm, definitely not soggy at all. Wow, all right, bite number two after all of that, because I really want to. Here we go. I'm gonna try and get my mouth around this. Wish me luck. Mmm, mmm, oh my God. It's a burger that's gonna make you cry only because it's so insane. You can really taste the freshness of the beef on this, but man, it is ultra flavorful. This was absolutely made fresh, as you can see here. It really is just insane. So many glory shots of goodness for you in this review, guys. This is just insanity personified and definitely something I think I would probably partake in every so often. This is absolutely not an everyday thing for sure. But guys, an insane amount of beef. All of you guys who recommended that I check this out, I'm so glad that I finally did right now in triple form as promised. And I gotta say, I am not disappointed in the slightest. I'm gonna go for one more bite of this and we're definitely gonna wrap this up. Can you obviously tell what the rating is gonna be on this one? Guys, it's way up there. This is absolutely an insane burger with all the hickory smoke goodness that you know, Applewood I should say from Wendy's on top of all the cheese and that beef, the insanity of the beef on this, three quarters of a pound before cooking. And it really didn't lose much in that process. As you can see, this thing is massive in my hands right now, guys. This is huge. So let's go for another bite. We'll finish this one up after the rating. But guys, I'm so glad I did this. I love you guys greatly for uh, suggesting that I do it. Here we go. Mm. The one and only Baconator. 
Insanity, pure insanity. And I didn't even really taste the mayo too much either because of all the other flavor going on with that one. Just the right amount of saltiness from the beef, the bacon, the cheese, everything together, and the juiciness and the heartiness of it was completely off the chain. I can easily see why the Baconator is a favorite without a doubt. All right, so let me confirm the obvious score for you. Clearly, the triple Baconator here at Wendy's is gonna get a rock solid 10 out of 10. There is no way that burger could have failed as soon as I unwrapped it and saw the way that it looked. Unless, of course, the flavor just simply wasn't there, which thankfully, it was in spades, guys. Like I said, the flavor off the chart, just the right amount of saltiness, the juiciness of that meat, the freshness of it, on top of the crispiness of that applewood smoked bacon, everything in general with the cheese, even the light mayo, the ketchup, the combination, it was insane with a soft Catcher's Mitt style bun. Guys, insanity, like I said. Okay, so I've just got one question for you. Have you ever tried the triple Baconator over here at Wendy's? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. I'm very curious to hear if you've given this one a shot. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another episode of Peep This Out, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why you stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. And hey, at over 80 plus degrees right now in Southern Cali, what better way to finish out this review than with a frosty, naturally from Wendy's. Let's go for this real quick over here, guys. This is looking nice already. Mmm, frosty indeed. All right, guys, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. But hey, real quick before you go, and just in case you haven't already, take a look at the last review that I put out right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.